Greetings, esteemed viewers. I'm going to try to keep this brief, at least brief for Stardust standards. Uh, first, let me uh, thank my viewer or subscriber. Fun usernames are gone for bringing this to my attention. I'll be talking about an article and, uh, and as well as uh, posting a video related to the article about uh, male DNA found in female brains. And I talked a little bit about the possibility of uh, male brain wiring in, in women as well as uh, questions relating to why some women might, with sons might be more likely to support um, men's rights. So I'm going to first read off the article. It's not too long. And uh, then you can check out the video as well. And then I'll go into some uh, theorizing and positing some ideas. So uh, male DNA found in female brains. A groundbreaking study raises questions about gender distinctions. Researchers have found male DNA inside female brains for the first time, prompting paradigm-shaking biological questions. According to a study published in PLOS One Journal and picked up by Canada.com, male microcharism, the intermingling of small, number, small numbers of cells or portions of DNA in a person from a genetically different individual, was discovered in the brain of 63% of female patients tested. It is thought that the male DNA found in the female brains likely derived from previous pregnancies with XY chromosome babies, male babies, and this is in brackets. Indeed, it is worth pointing out that the designation of male and female DNA is determined by it containing XY or XX chromosomes is contentious in gender theory, since the way the terms male and female function in the world is not entirely determined by chromosomes. Maybe we can talk about that later. The new findings are significant for two reasons. First, researchers found that women with Alzheimer's disease appear to have lower concentrations of male DNA in brain regions most affected by the disease. This could be a crucial finding for scientists researching the condition. And it goes on. Uh, secondly, the study's senior author, Dr. J. Lee Nelson of the University of Alberta, pointed out the findings point to the need for a new paradigm of what self is biologically. If one individual can have immigrant DNA intermingled in his or her cells, the notion of DNA as a unique person identifier is destabilized. Uh, Nelson notes, I think we're better off thinking of it, the biological self, in brackets, as an ecosystem rather than a singular genetic template with more genetic and cellular d diversity than we previously thought. Similarly, the designation of certain DNA as male or female is highlighted as problematic in findings like these, and that's the end of that. A couple of things. So first we look at the article, and I'd argue that it's quite, pretty much gynocentric. What, what's the first thing they talk about? They talk about the benefit it, it, it could provide to female uh, sufferers of Alzheimer's, and that's good. We want to alleviate, uh, alleviate, alleviate human suffering, no doubt, <laughs> but uh, of course, they, that's the only uh, frame of reference uh, they have, is we help the women out. And I, for my part, well, I'm a lot less interested in that aspect, even though it's important than the aspect, as might be related to what I had previously talked about. A while, while back, I made the suggestion that maybe Girl Writes What has uh, male brain wiring, and uh, she herself conceded the possibility. And... Uh, well, uh, I unfortunately, uh, it was just my hypothesis. Couldn't back it up by too much empirical data. But this study suggests that maybe there's something to what I, what I said, and maybe there's something to this idea of quote-unquote male brain wiring, in as much as containing male DNA might have an influence on the way you perceive the world and uh, your inter interaction with the world and certainly how you might think. After all, it is the brain. Uh, moreover, uh, in a video response to Eugene Pollan's You, uh, wherein he questioned the, uh, the loyalty or rather the true intentions of so-called fem female MRAs, uh, I, I posit the idea that I try to create sort of a category of, of different possibilities of, uh, of different kinds of women who may or may not be um, MRM supporters along a certain spectrum. And one of those categories I offered or actually there were two, was one um, was uh, male brain wiring and the other was, you know, she might have sons. Now, it stands to reason, of course, so-called maternal love, uh, the female will take an interest in her son, uh, son's well-being, uh, and if the son is suffering, well, she might try to alleviate that suffering. But uh, here we have some, some evidence, certainly not rock-hard, solid evidence, but some evidence to suggest that 
Um, maybe, since a goodly portion of women apparently have male DNA in their brains, maybe that plays a role as well. Um, after all, uh, I would argue, and I don't have the data at all, but I, I, I'm sure if they, and no one's going to conduct a study, but if you were to conduct a study of the women who take an interest in men's rights and men, men's well-being on the whole, uh, how many of them have sons versus how many of them have daughters, I think uh, it could, be, it could re be quite revealing, to say the least. So uh, male DNA found in female brains might support this hypothesis that I offered that possibly uh, women indeed have a kind of male brain wiring and some might have more than others. So for all we know, girl writes what <laughs> might have a majority of male DNA in her brain, well, we simply don't know. Uh, but uh, I know she has two sons, so uh, that's... That's certainly one, one factor to take into account. So she had at least two opportunities to have uh, an intermingling of male DNA with her own. And uh, anyway, that's, I wanted to keep this pretty brief. Uh, like I said, not too long at all. And yeah, just just interesting idea to support some previous ideas and theories and thoughts I had offered up. So uh, there's that. Everyone uh, take care and yeah, I know I've been, by the way, I know I've been posting a lot of videos recently. It's because I had a lot of free time this past week, which will end by tomorrow probably. So uh, I'll probably be posting one more video after this, and then I'm going to have to take a long break because life's going to get really busy for me, unfortunately, or fortunately, or however you want to put it, uh, in the next couple of weeks. So anyway, take care.